You might have seen a snake in a zoo or from a television program before. Most snakes are dangerous to other animals because of their poisonous bites. Such bites can be toxic and can even kill a person. Today, with the help of Chemistry of Monster Step by Mel Chemistry, we will make a large and absolutely harmless chemical snake at home. Do not forget to put on protective goggles before the experiment. Conduct all experiments on a plastic tray. For this experiment, take a solar fuel stove from your starter kit and put a piece of foil on it to avoid any possible pollution of the stove. Take a plastic cylinder from the set, put it at the center of the foil, and pour all the solar fuel into it. Put the press mold onto the cylinder and push it down to make a crater in the solar fuel. Put two big measuring spoons of sugar into the vial with half grams of sodium bicarbonate and close it with a cap. Shake the vial to make a mixture out of which the snake will grow. Then put the mixture into the crater in the solar fuel. Ignite the solar fuel to start the reaction. Then the solar fuel will catch fire immediately, igniting sugar in the mixture with soda. Some of the sugar burns completely, turning into carbon dioxide and water vapor. For such a reaction, excess of oxygen is needed, but in this case, it is difficult for oxygen to get inside the sugar pile, so another process takes place. At high temperature, sugar decomposes into carbon and water vapor. That is how our snake forms. Soda in this process decomposes with the formation of carbon dioxide, which expands the carbon formed out of the sugar. That is how the snake grows. Few minutes later, the solar fuel burns completely, and all that is left is our long snake. It is mainly consisted of unburned carbon that was obtained by heating the sugar, and it is the carbon which makes the snake black. There is also sodium carbonate in the composition of the snake, which is the result of soda thermal decomposition. If you want to learn more about this experiment, please visit our Mel Chemistry website.